Hey everyone, MontedarkZen here with a tutorial on how to install the XV2 patcher, XV2 installer, and Flex underscore SDK 4.6 and how and where to find the uh, file you need to use for the compiler when it asks you uh, to install the uh, compiler. So what you want to do is take your XV2 patcher, you will need a WinZip or WinRAR or 7-Zip program in order to extract these files from the uh, zip file so what you want to do is go to program files steam steam apps common dbz universe 2 and you want to drag and drop all of this into here now what you want to do is take the xv2 installer and drag and drop these right into this folder as well like you did with the xv2 patcher. Now what you want to do next with the flex SDK folder, you take this, you go into your file explorer, this PC, Windows C, program files. Now what you want to do, you right click, click on new, click folder, make a folder called flex underscore SDK underscore 4.6. Uh, whoops, I I did make it and then make it an L. Oopsies. Yes, please. Now, what you want to do is take everything in this folder and drag and drop it into here. So, all the contents are in here now. Do this for all current items. Yes, please. Now, while I do that, I'm going to show you how to install HUM files for your DBZ Universe game like the Tales mod. Now what you want to do is go back into your DBZ Ver Xenoverse 2 folder. Uh, what you want to do is right click, create a folder, and create a folder called data. Now this is very important because you need a data folder. You can create it. You most likely will not have this folder if you are installing, if you're doing this from scratch. So you most likely not have this folder. It does not come with the game. You need to create it. So what you want to do next is do create data new folder typing character which is short for character and what you want to do is clicking character create a folder hum is for females and huff is for males so what you want to do is type in hum for female and huff for male for your female and male mods so huff and hum which is weird actually no it's not two m's it's one m's i think i'm not sure it's either either one of those Hum or Huff. I know Hum is female and Huff is male. So that is how to install uh, Hum and Huff files in your Xenoverse game. Now I'll show you how to use the Xenoverse 2 installer and where to find the flex underscore SDK file that asks for you to find. Now what you want to do is click on the three arrows in the little blue box that is already highlighted for you. Now what you want to do is click on that. You go to your bin folder. You click on mxmlc.exe, you click open, then you click on OK, and then go into your file, actually never mind, it opens up on its own. So this is the XV2 mods installer. Now what you want to do is click on this green plus sign here, which will allow you to install any mod. If you click on yes, you'll get the CMD. Uh, pop-up which installs the mod for you that's why it needs flex sdk because it uses java so in order install the new slot will install as a new character or append to existing slot will append it into or an already existing character in your roster if this tutorial has helped you guys in any way please leave a like down below if this has solved any of your issues please let me know down below if you have any more current problems Please leave a sub down below. Please like that video. Please turn on that notification bar. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. And if it's helped you, please let me know down below. And see you guys later. I also forgot to mention in the tutorial that if you go to File, I mean uh, Tools, Clear Installation, this will delete all your mods. It'll also delete the data folder along with all of your mods of all your mods that are installed. 
into your game. It won't delete the mods in the mod folder, of course. That would be silly. Um, but yeah, so this will delete the data folder, your mods that you already have installed. And it creates a clean installation, basically. And an X mod installation has been cleared successfully. Program are now closed. Restart it manually. Now, what you will have to do uh, is go back into your Xenoverse 2 folder. Go uh, uh, open up the, what should we call it, XV2 installer. And then you have to, uh, every time you do this, you will need to uh, it, install the MXML file for the what you may call it, the thing, the thing thing, the thingy thing, the flex compiler path, that's right, which is in your bin folder right here, and you click on that, and you click on OK, and that is how you clear the installation of your XV2 installer for Xenoverse 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and see you later, and now, see you later, guys, and there will be some bloopers at the end of this, so see you guys later. This PC, Windows C, Program Files, Steam, where are you? There you are. Steam Apps, Common, DBZ Universe 2, which is right here. Now, what you want to. Whoops, no. SDK. God damn it. Folder, Frameworks. Uh, I think it's Libs. If I remember. No, it's not Libs. I forgot. Whoopsies. It's. Where is it? No, where is it? Where's the what? Oh, it's not finished. That is why. So I'm going to make a quick jump cut. Oh, what you want? Fuck.